Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we're using the Divi Supremes module plugin here. We're going to create this little time thing for your opening hours for your business. Really easy to do. They've got a little module that does this with the Supreme modules. Uh, if you want to check out the Supreme modules plugin, it comes in two flavors, a free one and a pro version. And you can download either from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. Let's enable the visual builder. Go down to where we want to work. Of course, I'm using the awesome Divi theme from Elegant Themes here. If you want to try it out for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video also. So let's start by adding a module. If we hover over this row here, it'll prompt us to add a module, a little plus button here. All the light gray ones here are ones that come as standard with Divi. Plenty enough to keep just about any site happy. And the purple ones here are the ones that come with the Divi Supreme modules plugin. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the Supreme Business Hours plug in just hit the little button there left click on it and it opens up let's move this over here so we can see what's going on okay module link item at the moment I don't really want them to link anywhere and I don't want a, a background colored for the item if you want to give it an admin late uh, label and call it what you like Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add a new item. And I'm going to leave mine at 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's absolutely fine. Monday, that's absolutely fine too. Obviously, put in whatever hours you want to put in for your business. But that works for me. If you want to link this module to any anywhere, you can do so by putting the link in here in the link one and have it either open in the same window or a new window. Perhaps if you've got things happening that day you'd like to link to but I don't have anything so I'm not going to link background color let's give it a background color I don't know I'll just I'll just use the green that's fine and let's say change color when we hover on it I could be really dramatic here I'm going to go yellow and uh, apply the hover effect and this works with most of the settings in Divi just hover over whatever it is. In our case, it's the background here. And these little icons will appear. Hit the little arrow. And it'll present you with a desktop button and a hover option button. We need to go to the hover button to set the hover color. And I'll make that yellow. That's fine. Okay, let's go to our design tab and design it up. I want to get this one right. And what we'll do, we'll copy this one when we're happy with the way that it actually looks. So the text is fine at the moment. I think I want it to be white though. That's fine. Um, we could have it capitalized if you wanted to. Text size is fine too. Line height, I think I'll bring that up a little bit perhaps. Just make that little box a bit bigger there. And I think I'd like to have a bit of padding either side so it's not up against our sides there. So let's go down to our next one, which is padding or spacing. Uh, left and right, let's give it, say, 20 pixels left and 20 pixels right. Don't have to put in pixels. It'll do it for you. If you click the little link arrow here, it'll put in the opposite corner. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm not going to put a border around this. I might put a border around the whole thing, a little bit like we did with this one before here. Box shadow, again, I'm not going to need that for the moment. So I think for the time being that's fine. So what I'm going to do is hit the checkbox. It'll take us back to the main box. I'm going to clone it. Simply going to go in there and change this one to Tuesday. Time's fine. 
I'm going to clone it again. This time I'll say Wednesday, but I'll say closed on Wednesday. So up here, I'm just going to put closed. There we go. And I'll do the same for the next two. I'll pause the video and get that done quickly. OK, so there's the other ones done. Let's check that, go back to our main module. Now let's go to design on our main module, decide what we want to do with the other things. Day text, well, you can change the color of the day text or style of it and have it different from the time text if you want. I'm not going to bother with that. If you want to have a separator, you can do so here and decide whether you want solid, dotted, dash, doubled, etc. Um, if I put a solid in, you'll see what it is. It's just a line from the Monday to the time there, or the day to the time there. But for me, I don't think I need that, but it's an option if you decide you want to do it. So I'm going to flip that back to none. Divider, this is a divider between the actual things. Actually, I'd quite like to have a divider. So let's have a solid one. Let's make it a bit bigger than that. Yeah, something like that. Almost looks like a button shadow then. But obviously you can choose to have it how, how you want. Sizing wise, you can give it width, max width, minimum height, height, max height. That's fine. At the moment, I'll probably leave those. If we change our minimum height, it's for the actual whole module itself. So I'm going to leave that to auto. It's for our whole module here. OK, spacing. Well, we've done a little bit with the spacing with our individual modules, but this is if you want any spacing within the column itself. For me, really don't need any. We could give the items some padding, top and bottom, and if you wanted to make them a bit larger, say 20 pixels. And as you can see, that's made them considerably bigger. It's given them 20 pixels top and bottom. Let's change that to 10 because I've got the link linked. It'll do both at the same time. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's leave it at 10. Just a little wider than it was. Don't need any margins or padding on the item itself. Border. Well, I'll do what I did with this one. I'll just give it a, a fairly big border and I'll make it, I'll give it some rounded corners. So let's say border, rounded corners. That one, I think I gave it sort of 10 pixels. Again, if you've got this link checked, it'll do all four at once for you. Now, how wide do we want it? Pretty wide, actually. Now let's make it... I don't know what color to make it. I guess we'll make it that dark gray again or that gray color. That's black. We can bring the opacity down, make it a little more gray. A bit more sort of like its neighbor there. And last but not least, we can add a bit of box shadow if we want to. Let's just add a little bit of box shadow to make it stand out. Save our changes. And there you have it. Let's save our page changes and exit the visual builder. I guess I could line those up before I do that. Let's go into this module and I'll just give them a bit of margin at the top there. So let's go down to spacing. And I see. Let's give the top margin. We'll try 50 is probably going to be too much. Yeah, that's way too much. Try 30. That's about right. That's going to line them both up. So I'm happy with that. Let's just move this up. Save the changes. Again, save the page changes down here at save draft. Once saved, let's exit the Visual Builder. Go down to where we are working and see what we've got. 
And there we are you've got a nice little business card changes color <laughs> those colors are absolutely awful but it gives you an idea of what you can do and like i say you can link these to pages if you have events or things happening on those days or to a schedule or however you like to do it handy little module so that's how to build it with the divi supreme modules plugin like i say you can download the plugin from my affiliate link below the video here I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day day.